So here we are at the upper canal. We're about half a kilometre up from the lake itself and it runs up a further half a kilometre and through this canal it's very easy to spot fish but uh, first a couple of key points that I'd like to make. The sides are very incised and it's running at a faster flow than it looks and um, I've almost gone for a swim trying to retrieve a fish and at that point in time I realised how unsafe it was because I wouldn't be able to get back out because it's so incised so um, it pays to fish in twos, be very cautious and maybe um, get a net with a long handle and extend, have an extension onto it just for safety. But um, this can be quite effective if you first walk the canal, spot the fish, figure out where you may be able to land them or figure out a strategy for landing, then use this technique I've come up with which involves using a bubble a little bit of split shot and nymphing. Right, so this is a bubble and nymph system that I've devised. I'm just using a conventional spinning rod and I've got a bubble here that has a swivel and a clip and a swivel and a clip. Now, with these bubbles, they have portals on them. Open that up, half fill it with water and close it. Gives it a bit of weight so you can have casting accuracy and it also helps if there's a bit of a head-on wind. Then approximately one metre of trace down, I've got some split shot. Depending on the rate of the flow and the depth, you may need two pieces of split shot. Today we'll run with one. Then approximately a foot down, I've got a pheasant's tail with a gold bead. And then further down, I have a second pheasant's tail with a gold bead. Basically go for the biggest, heaviest nymphs possible to hit the bottom as early as possible. The idea is to cast a good 10 metres up in front of the fish to avoid spooking and just slowly let it go down past the fish and if we're lucky we'll get a take. So what I typically do is I just walk the edge and I'm looking for a fish. Now these fish get targeted quite heavily over summer so they're very, very spooky so I say to myself um, don't give my position away and I've only got one cast to get this fish. So there's a big one going past now, a big brownie, but he's going downstream. I'm just going to cast up here, show you typically how I go about it. We just got to ensure that the nymph doesn't hit the grass. So let's just pretend that there's a fish sitting just down here in front of me about 10 metres. I'm wanting to cast about 15 metres up. So that splash hasn't given my position away. The nymph is going to the bottom and this fish is none the wiser. And then it's just a question of letting the bubble naturally go down at the same speed as the current. And as it goes over the fish's head, it'll dip. And when it dips, let's say it's dipped, just firm up. Don't yank. Just firm up and you'll have the fish. Hold your line out over like that so there's no hookups. Play it, let it get very tired, then come up with a very safe strategy for retrieving this fish, even if you have to walk it 100 metres further down. Right, uh, one key point I forgot to mention is the best visibility is when the sun is above you and you can see right to the bottom of the canal and it's excellent for spotting fish. So that's one thing to bear in mind. It's very difficult if the sun's at a lower angle. The second thing is during winter, this top end of the canal is closed for spawning. So there's a sign down toward Lake Argyle itself that's very clear it says closed for winter. But during the summer months, come up here. The best time is October, November when there's less fishing pressure and a good volume of water. So I recommend trying this technique then. You will have success.